let's go for a ride! You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today! Cycle Cruiser videos brought to you at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Many of you have asked me, what are my thoughts on the newly revised 2017 KTM 1290 Super Duke R, a.k.a. The Beast? Let me tell you this, guys. When this bike first came out a few years ago, I thought this bike was ugly. You know, seeing it in videos and in pictures does not do this bike justice, guys. When I went to the KTM dealership last year and saw this bike in person, I thought it looked badass. Looks much better in person, guys. But, hey, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. But before I give my opinion on whether I buy this bike and the pros and cons to buying a KTM in general, which I'll include those comments towards the end of this video, I want to talk about the significant changes on this new 2017 model. Looking at the bike, the first thing you notice is that badass split LED headlight. And also the bars are wider, move lower and forward for better handling and sporty riding. Also it has a TFT full color display and it now has a keyless system. So now like the new cars, you have the key fob in your pocket, hit the start button and go. Also it has cruise control and it has that awesome single sided swing arm which I really appreciated with this bike. And I'll tell you guys, man, these are some really awesome changes but that's just hitting the tip of the iceberg. The engine has been updated. Yeah, that 1301 cc LC8 V twin engine now sitting at 177 horsepower, up seven horsepower. The changes they made to the engine, such as 10 millimeter shorter intake flange, which now enhances the power and has broadened the usable power band. Also, it has a new resonator chamber placed on the cylinder head for smoother power at lower RPMs. Also, higher compression ratio thanks to titanium inlet valves. And service intervals are only 15,000 miles. Also, they've upgraded the suspension. I know some of you guys complain it being a little bit too soft. Well, hey guys, now it has a new 48 millimeter USD split front forks with stiffer springs and it has sportier settings. Also has a new WP shock with stiffer spring for more balanced chassis. Also, they put on new tires. Now it has a new Metzler M7RR Super Sport for improved grip and handling. Also, another big update is they updated the electronic rider aids. It now has the Bosch Motorcycle Stability Control that includes cornering ABS, which also includes Supermoto Mode, which disables the ABS at the rear. Also, there's options available. Uh, the Performance Pack which has the rear motor slip regulation, uh, quick shifter, up and down clutchless shifts, and KTM My Ride. Also, another option is the track pack, which has track mode and allows three drive modes, anti-wheelie off, uh, traction control slip adjustment, and launch control. However, I think these should be included because I know this bike is going to be really expensive. Probably going to be sitting at 20000 plus, I bet. But anyways, they revised the exhaust. It is now Euro 4 compliant and comprised of rust-proof stainless steel and has a new exhaust flap which smooths the torque curve. They say it's quiet at low RPMs, but when you hit the high RPMs, supposedly you get that high note to make you smile. We'll see though. Normally, stock exhausts suck, but that you can always make a change. Okay, I'll finally answer the question, will I buy this new KTM 1290 Super Duke R? Well, first off, I had considered getting the Super Duke R in the past, but I did some research and I checked out Motorcycle News website that did a long-term test back in January 2015, and that report showed that the bike had a porous crankcase, warped front discs, uh, and the engine repeatedly pumped out its coolant. And also I went to the forums and there was some notable mechanical issues and other problems. So that really soured my taste on this bike. But not only that, I had actually considered getting a KTM 690 Enduro R last year. As you guys may know, some of you longtime viewers. Um, however, I went to the dealership. We only have like one local dealership and he's like 45 minutes away. It's like a mom and pops dealer. And uh, I put a down payment on the bike. I was going to pay full cash for it. Uh, but they told me that it was going to be a two-week turnaround time to get the bike prepped. And I thought that was absolutely ridiculous. I was going on a bug-out trip at that time, you know, when I went on that bug-out trip to Colorado. 
And I even offered extra money to speed up the process, and they got kind of snippy with me. So I ended up just canceling that, and I got the WR250R, which I absolutely fucking love. And I'm glad I didn't get that KTM 690 Enduro R because I did some research, and that bike has uh, can incur a faulty rocker arm. Uh, you know, there's a motor vlogger that, that has his bike, and it, it failed on him out in the desert, left him stranded. Um, so, and a lot of people have had problems with this, but some people haven't had problems. But overall, I'm just, uh, you know, KTM's reliability is questionable to me. You know, hey, show me a KTM with 50,000 miles on it with no, that had no problems during that 50,000 miles. And I may consider getting a KTM. Uh, so, hey, show me that proof and then, hey, maybe I'll consider it. But also it has weak dealer support. Like I said, we just had that one, one mom and pops dealer and the turnaround time is long there. They they also go on vacation in the wintertime sometimes. You know, uh, one winter I called and their, their voicemail said they're out in Florida <laughs> and they shut down shop. So, and you know, the next closest KTM dealer is like an hour and a half away. So here in the Northeast Ohio, Cleveland area, we don't have good dealer support. It sucks. Just the one, like I said. Uh, and I called uh, KTM headquarters, which is located in Toledo, Ohio, and I asked them, was there any plans to expand in the Cleveland area? And they told me no, straight up no. So, you know, they're making these awesome bikes, you know, the, the looks of them, the performance, everything, but the reliability is not there for me at this time. So I'm not going to buy a KTM anytime soon until I see that these bikes have better reliability. But hey, that's just my opinion on it. Um, some of you guys say you should own one before you talk shit about one. And no, guys, that's that's not the case. I do I do research. I make sure I get a good product before I buy it. You know, put my hard earned money uh, towards. So, uh, you know, you can be a dumb buyer out there and and go through the experience of you know the shit involved um, because you didn't do your research. Hey, that that's you, man. But I, you know, I'm very wise with my money. But anyways, feel free to share your experience with your KTM 1290 Super Duke R, and I would love to hear your feedback and converse with you. But hey, guys, if you want to see more videos that I did on models that are coming out for 2017, I'll include video links in the description and comment section of this video. Also, if you want to see more of my videos, go to my website, CycleCruiser.com. Click on the menu tab, My Videos. All my videos are categorized in the various playlists. Hopefully, you can find something that will inform you or entertain you. Hey, hit thumbs up if you like this video. Share this video with your friends. Uh, there's some really cool bikes coming out there, guys, for 2017. Some tough choices to make. But, hey, I appreciate all you guys. And until next time, catch you guys later. Check out my other channel, Psycho Cruiser Motor Vlogs, where I discuss anything and everything, not just motorcycle shit.